Alright, so about a year or so ago I did a video about poker chips and kind of my background as a poker player um, and also like uh, the use of poker chips in uh, board games and, and mostly poker chips are used in board games for like thematic reasons uh, for whatever reason like a you know like a, an old west type game or something like that but they're used a lot in economic games and mostly economic games that have paper money people don't like having paper money um, it kind of sticks together it doesn't feel good um, and, and it just you know for lack of a better word, it, it feels cheap. Um, I, some uh, games, some Martin Wallace games, um, like London, that has uh, money in it, but they have those those cheap, cheap tiddlywinks or whatever. I use poker chips or stuff like that. Um, you know, so uh, but the most obviously the most common use uh, of poker chips in board games is 18xx games. If you uh, talk to any hardcore 18xx players, um, they love the feel of poker chips. They like having poker chips mostly because um, since usually in those games. Uh, the how much money each person has is open knowledge. So instead of having to ask somebody how much money do you have, um, you can just glance over and you can just see, you know, a stack of chips and you can count, you know, like, so these are all 20. And so you can just count quickly. They have six chips. And so you can say, oh, that's 120 bucks. You can just tell right away. Or, or if you're counting it for somebody else, or you're just keeping track of it yourself, you can just look and you know exactly how much money you have. Now, the thing about poker chips is, is that Poker chips, they come in all range of prices, all range of of quality. Um, you, you can go find them on Amazon. You could have them delivered to your house in two days with a case, and you can get one fairly cheap. And the bottom line is, is that a poker chip, the only job a poker chip has is to represent the, the, the value that you're trying to have. So if you have like just those, uh, the dice chips that you have that come in the three basic colors, you can just say these whites are worth 10 and so on and so forth. And that'll work just fine. Um, the bottom line is, is that if you're looking for poker chips and you're watching this video, the reason why you want poker chips is just because you want something a little nicer, you want something a little better, and maybe you just want to treat yourself or you're looking for a gift or something like that. So the bottom line is, is that I've been looking for a really good set of poker chips that can both be for my, my my board games, so like I can bring it and I can have those poker chips for my economic games and other games that use that that I think they'll have a use for. And two, uh, for my poker nights that I that I put together and I play with my friends. Now, you can go full out and spend a lot of money on poker chips. You can spend a ton of money. Um, I have one really nice set of poker chips. These these poker chips um, are custom made. They uh, they they they're supposed to represent like if you've seen the movie Rounders. If you go and look at the the, the table um, like that uh, they're they're playing on the final game or whatever between Matt Damon and. Pay him, pay him his money. Um, these are representative of you know the, the bear logo, the money, and these are you know if you go and get custom poker chips, um, they're going to cost you a, a, a fair chunk of cash. Um, but you know these are kind of special to me, and, and like there's something that I always wanted, and so I don't really want to travel with these just because of the expenditure, and also just because I want to keep them safe. Um, but you know these are really nice, but you know so but I wanted something that was kind of you know. One, still really nice, but, you know, two, that I'm not going to be worried about, like, if I, if, if, you know, like, somebody stole them from me or whatever, or if I left them in my suitcase or something like that, you know, theoretically, they'd be easily replaceable. So... Uh, one of the best places to buy poker chips online is a place called Apache uh, Poker Chips, and I, I I purchased everything. They haven't. Uh, they, they don't even think. I don't even think they know I exist. But um, th I got these through them. These are the Dunes commemorative chips. Um, they did a pre-order for it, and I got in on that. Um, I saved like five cents a chip, so it isn't like I got a huge deal. Um, but I got in on, on, on the pre-order, and these are available now. And the best thing about these chips, and I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I really like about them in a second here. But the best thing about these chips is the fact that they covered all the denominations. So 
when I play poker, I play tournament style and I play cash poker. And so when we play cash poker, it's like you come to the table with 20 bucks, you know, you, you, and you just turn them in for chips, whatever you want. And so, and we usually play quarter stakes or something like that. And so the fact that there was a quarter chip, um, you know, and a dollar and a five and a 20, that's exactly what I needed for when I play cash. And these over here are exactly what I needed for a tournament. Now, what's something I didn't realize or something that I just found out actually when I started playing 18xx games a lot, and when somebody saw this chip, they were really excited about the fact that I had a $20 chip. Because of the fact that, like, I guess, like, it isn't, and I knew this from before, but a $20 uh, denomination chip is not very common. Usually what you're going to find in most poker chip sets is a $25 dollar chip like this one uh you know and it's just it's just the way it is you know it's just the way people play and so to have a 20 dollar chip for an economic game is is really important i guess and it, and it just it makes things easier and i think it's just something that's uncommon that they really enjoy now in a way i kind of wish there was a 10 dollar chip there just isn't but you can make do with what's there now obviously the that's that's the really cool thing. I love the denominations of the fact it's the full gamut. Now, as far as the quality of the chips go, these aren't going to be like you know, like, because these are what's called a china clay. Um, if you're familiar with poker chips, you're going to know what that means. Um, but basically what this is, it's not technically clay. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing that there is, you know, some clay uh, portion to these chips in some way, shape, or form. There, there's some bit of clay, but this is plastic. It's absolutely plastic. Um, but it is made in such a way that it mimics a little bit what these feel like so like here's a $100 um, like up from my and these are these are a clay chip I mean and, and the thing is, is if you if you get into the whole uh, uh, history of, of poker chips and how they're made and everything like that it's a really fascinating actually but the big thing is is that uh, uh, the, the, the big, big poker chip creator, uh, this, 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 the Paulson's is what, I'm, they don't sell chips to the public anymore. They only sell chips, uh, to, uh, casinos and the like. So you can't purchase it. So the closest you're going to come to a true, uh, casino chip, um, is these classic poker chips. The, the company's name. And once again, I not paid by them, not by anything. I don't even, like I said, once again, I don't even think they know I exist. Um, but they make the closest, and you can kind of tell, and this is going to be maybe tough to see, but you can see, uh, you see a little shine right there? Those are these copper flakes that are put into the chip. There's no metal insert. Um, most, uh, like, cheap uh, uh, poker chips that you find that, once again, work just fine. This is only if you want a poker chip that's nice, you know, like, like top-of-the-line type of thing, um, have what's called... A metal insert. The inside of the coin has a uh, metal in it to give it some weight, to give it some, you know, gravity or whatever. And, um, but they end up weighing 12, 14 grams a piece or so. Now, this chip, and once again, I apologize, it's going out of focus, but this chip weighs probably around eight or nine grams. You might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? Who cares? Well, this actually feels and weighs like a poker chip should weigh. Like, if you go to a casino and you get a poker chip, this feels like that same weight. And the same goes for this chip right here. There is no metal insert in this chip either, but um, this is just made out of more of a plasticky material, so um, it actually then it doesn't have to have those little, as I said, you can kind of see those little copper flakes that are in there. They kind of give it some weight. Um, you'll also notice that one thing, you'll notice how these edges are a little bit rounded, they're a little bit beveled there, and whereas these are not. You know, and that's, that's one of those things where um, you can kind of tell this is a little bit more uh, expensive of a chip, but so um, you know, it's just one of those things where uh, you you might say, "Why does that matter?" Nine grams, uh, twelve grams, fourteen grams, or whatever. I at one time thought like the heavier the chip, the better. But the thing is, is that ultimately you're going to end up carrying chips around in something like this. You're going to be carrying this, and yeah, if you have twenty chips. That's no big deal. But when you're carrying 600 chips around, that, that, that five gram difference, that's absolutely huge. And plus, if, once you kind of get into the whole poker chip world, you're going to realize that heavier chips do not necessarily mean that they are better, if you will. Now, as far as everything about these chips, they're absolutely awesome. Now, the, these are stickers. These aren't technically an inlay that, that, are, that are in here. Um, these are stickers that are, that, that are on there. But 
the, the quality control on these is amazing. I didn't have any of these uh, labels uh, mislabeled. Um, everything was correct as far as uh, the labels were concerned. And nothing, none of my chips showed up broken, none of my chips showed up cracked, anything like that. And the cool thing about Apache Poker Chips is they are guaranteed for life. So if you do order something through them and, you know, you have a chip that has the wrong label on it, you just tell them and they'll send you a chip out that, that, with the correct label. You know, if, you, if, if you're playing it and you, and I've had this happen where like you throw chips into the middle of the pot and they hit and they just hit just perfectly. Maybe there was a slight imperfection um, in, in when they when they when they pressed the the, the, the chip and made it, um, and, and you, you hit it just perfectly, and it just cracks. It just snaps in half. And I I've had that happen. Um, you know, I just I emailed them. They sent me another one. So uh, I can't speak enough as far as the customer service of Apache Poker Chips. They're just absolutely amazing. And once again. <laughs> They haven't been paid anything by them or anything like that. It's just they're a really, really good company to work with. So the bottom line is, in my opinion, is if you are still looking for a poker chip set uh, that is going to be perfect um, for your both your 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 playing poker uh, or also um, like uh, like playing your 18xx games for board games, um, I strongly suggest you go ahead and check these out. They run, I think, if I remember correctly, they're like 35 cents a chip. So if you want, you know, like a, a set of 600, you know, it is, it's going to be a, a, a fair amount of money. You know, I mean, you might be saying, well, why would I do that? If I, I could buy like two, three board games for that amount of money. But trust me, these are going to last you the rest of your life. You're never going to have to buy another chip uh, ever. And um, you're going to have a really good set. So I just wanted to talk about that because basically uh, I've been looking for this exact set, this exact existence, and uh, I finally found one, and, and they're awesome. So there you go. That is uh, the Apache uh, Poker Club Dunes commemorative set. And if you don't know what Dunes is, Dunes was a uh, was a famous casino that they tore down in the 90s, and so that's why they're able to do that. Oh, and I should actually show you one thing that's kind of cool, is that a lot of these chips, like you don't really see this very often, but if you look, you can actually see... Like there's the imprint there, around it, and you know I and I like edge uh, edge progression. You know, like like when you see chips on the side, I always love the look of chips on the side. You know how the, like the, the the dots or whatever. So when you see a stack of them, you know, so like you know when you see a stack of chips, I, I love you know how they the, the the dots on the side or whatever. And oh, and there's also one thing if you know what I'm talking about, like they, there's no. There's no rise or anything like this. So these chips are straight, they're level, and you're, you're going to be able to stack, you know, 50, 60 chips if you're if you actually had to. You could stack a 50 or 60 chip stack, and they're going to be rid, they're going to be solid. They're not going to like, you know, tip over. Not that you have to stack them that high, but if that's something you care about, something you think about. Oh, and also if you care, you know, they have they have cool dealer uh, buttons for for the for the Dune set as well at Apache Poker Club. So. There you go. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about poker chips, I've kind of turned into a poker chip collector now. Um, it, so be careful. You, you, if, if you start delving into the world, um, we, we uh, board game players, we tend to be a little bit of uh, collectors, if you will. So um, be careful. You, you might be going down a rabbit hole, but um, it is a fantastic subset to the hobby, something that I really enjoy. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, until next time, I'm the Viking. Uh, you have yourself one heck of an awesome day.